Hello, Mr. Colby and fellow classmates. I am Sharon, S-H-A-R-O-N, and I am doing the discussion on video for this fourth week on uh, justification for the role of a pastor. And if I feel there's, or if I think there's biblical justification for that, and the answer is yes. And I'd like to support that with Timothy uh, in chapter 3. First Timothy, to be clear, chapter 3. It says and it states on there, on the um, 3-2, Now the overseer is to be above reproach, faithful to his wife, temperate, self-controlled, respectful, hospitable, uh, able to teach, and not given into drunkenness, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, and not a lover of money. And it goes on to talk about more in detail on how he should conduct his life according to being a pastor or being called into um, ministry in that sense as far as um, becoming a pastor or an overseer of the church and then also um, for myself I don't feel I was ever called to become a pastor or an overseer of a church although I do have some skills that could help support that and knowing that I knew that I could be of good help However, I always felt led and called to help out in the mission field or uh, become a good Christian and so that uh, the qualities of Jesus can be seen in me. And um, also, I felt more led and called to become a missionary in, in another country, whether it be short term or long term, which I have served before with my husband short term in Costa Rica and Mexico as well as the Philippines. And that said, pretty much sums up the number one and two requirements of the discussion for this week. I also want to add that I just didn't feel I was called because also there wasn't any confirmation or invitation from uh, any other Christian friends or our church. And also along with that, just never really came to my mind to serve as a pastor. If anything, there was a little bit more of, um, I feel, uh, pushback or kind of um, more of even just like a friction feeling I felt from um, even leading Bible study, being that I'm was or am a female. But um, that was more one, two decades ago. And it's a lot better now. And so that um, sums up as far as how I feel this week's um, discussion relates. Anyways, um, with that, there's the provi providential call and the ecclesiastical call, which I also didn't really um, felt to do, I mean, feel I should do that either. Well, thank you for listening or watching this video.